Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to animate this lamp using parenting. So we're going to rig this lamp, but we're not going to use any bones, just parenting. We're going to parent and create a hierarchy of objects. Um, and the, the base of the lamp is the hierarchy uh, as in control of everything. And uh, you can see that I've animated this from 1 to 20. Uh, but I can move the lamp base and it will move everything. And then we've got this cylinder, which is right here, the base of the cylinder of the, of the arm, and that's in control of the rest of the lamp. And then we've got kind of a elbow, and then we're gonna call this the wrist, which is in, in, uh, in control of the all of the head or the arm. Uh, if this was an arm, this would be the shoulder the elbow and then the wrist. In this case, this would be the base, the middle, and then the head. But in here, you can see that there is a sphere, and then uh, there's a tiny little um, cylinder, and then the, the housing, and then there's another one in here that kinda acts like the bulb housing, or the bulb base, and then the cylinder I mean, a sphere for the bulb. There's actually, this lamp was created with 12 cylinders. There it is, 12, and one sphere. And then a spotlight. You notice that the spotlight is also part of this hierarchy. The spotlight is being controlled uh, by this cylinder here. So the spotlight is a part of the um, hierarchy, and it acts with the rigging. Uh, I've got a plane for the floor and another area light, kind of lighting up the scene here. Uh, but that's it. That's it. Very, very simple, but you have to follow some steps. So I'm going to open up, I'm going to save this, and I'm going to open up the startup file. Hey guys, so um, we're going to speed up the process here with the modeling. Uh, and you can see that's just a cylinder and I put a bevel right on there to round off the corner. Not a big deal. And, and basically this whole lamp is 12 cylinders, nothing too complicated. I just copied the cylinders, I made it a little larger to create the arm pieces, and I duplicated it. And then I grabbed the entire thing, I duplicated the arm and I grabbed the entire thing and I duplicate, duplicated it up. And then uh, grabbed that little piece, duplicated it again, did another cylinder, big surprise for the housing. Um, I think I just extruded all those uh, down right there, sized them uh, so we can get some thickness to that housing. A simple sphere for the light bulb. I just grabbed a couple vertices with the soft selection. I pushed them down, not a big deal. Uh, added a, yet another cylinder for that bulb housing. And then, um, what it, oh, I added um, some edge loops so that when I smoothed it, um, it didn't look all weird um, and it retained a little bit of its shape. Here I'm just adding some edge loops. Uh, I think I did three on the inside and three on the outside. Uh, and then I extruded the bottom. Um, here another edge loop and I extruded, I believe, the, the, the bottom uh, on the outside also. Uh, and I think it, that's it. I just saved it and adjusted the base a little bit, and that was it. This is the lamp that we created. Uh, we just modeled it. Uh, again, 12 cylinders, not a big deal. Cylinder one all the way to 11, actually 12. And then a sphere for the bulb. There it is, there it is. Uh, and, and there's our lamp. Uh, we're going to start parenting this. And we're going to go from the top all the way to the bottom. So right up, right up front, right away, what I'd like to do is grab everything on top, uh, including that little one, that little um, brace. It's the 12, 10, 11, 12, and the sphere. And then parent them to the joint. So I'm going to hit P to parent. Uh, and you know that it works when you click on the joint and everything is selected. The next move is I'm select these arms 
and the joint and then hit P to parent. Remember that you have to select the child first and then the parent. So I'm going to move up the chain, select the lower arm and then the joint and then hit P. And then select this, this, um, I want to say anchor and the base, the base is the parent and then hit P to parent. Uh, one thing about this one though, we did add a bevel. So I'd like to go up there and freeze the transformations. But you know what? I'm going to hold off so you can see what trouble this might cause uh, uh, later down the road. And so we've got uh, one, two, three, four different hierarchies. Uh, and they're all based on the joints. So this one is in control of everything here. If I rotate it, we're good, it rotates. This one is in control of the upper arm. If we rotate it, we're good. This one is in control of the lower arm. If we rotate it, we're good. And this one is in control of the uh, base. And if we move it, uh, we're good. And so now we parent each hierarchy. So um, this gets parent, the child gets parented to the parent, the joint to, from joint to joint, P. And then this one gets parented to this one, hit the P key to parent, boom. And then this one to the base, P. And so now if I select this and rotate it, E to rotate, uh, it works. We're good so far. If we select this joint and we rotate it, this works. Good. It works. Uh, and if we select this one, let me zoom out a bit and rotate it. Ooh, that stretches. That's not supposed to happen. If that happens, uh, that means that this, the, the cylinder, the very, very bottom cylinder, since we added that bevel, it's been modified. So it's kind of weird. We're going to have to freeze the transformation. So what I'm going to do is middle mouse click and drag this out of the group, uh, out of the hierarchy, uh, and even this one. So it's no longer parented, has no effect on anything. I'm going to go to modify freeze transformations and then I'm going to drag this. This is another way of parenting. I'm just going to middle mouse click and drag until I see this highlighted and that becomes under the cylinder. That means the cylinder is a parent and now this one, the entire chain, I'm going to drag and um, I'm just going to middle mouse click and drag right to that cylinder. So Cylinder one is the base. And now that I've frozen the transformations on the base, if I select this um, and it works, good. The other thing that we forgot to do is add a spotlight here. So I'm gonna add a spotlight. It's down here. I'm gonna move it up. I am going to rotate it, hit E, and then rotate it just pointing up and then I'm going to move it down to where I, I can see that I'm going to hit F so that I can see the spotlight uh, just on top right there. I am going to modify the cone angle, make it a little wider. There we go. Uh, and then I need a parent it, but I need a parent it to this joint here. Where is this joint? Well, it's way, way underneath the hierarchy, it's cylinder nine, right there. Cylinder nine is this joint. So I'm gonna get that spotlight, middle mouse click and drag right to that cylinder to make it a part of this top. So now when I select, it selects that, uh, that spotlight and I rotate and it rotates perfectly. So we're good. The lamp is now parented, it's rigged and it's ready to animate. And so, uh, one thing that I forgot to do, I'm going to do it real quick, is since this spotlight is inside this light bulb, the sphere, it's not going to be effective because it's basically inside of a box. And 
the shadow from the sphere will keep it from shining the light. And so if you select the light bulb and in the um, attribute editor, you go to P sphere shape one um, and you'll have this render stats, open it up and you can remove cast shadows and remove receive shadows. I'm gonna add quickly um, a floor, R to scale, there we go. I'm gonna turn off my uh, grid and I am going to add a keyframe. I'm gonna hit S to the base. I'm gonna hit F to uh, zoom in. And then I'm gonna keyframe all the joints, hit S to keyframe, S, and then S. I've got a I've got a keyframe on frame one for everything, and I am going to um, animate it to frame fifteen. So I'm not going to animate the base, but the first joint there I'm going to rotate it, and I am going I have auto keyframe turned on, and so as soon as I rotate, it'll create a keyframe. Boom! Right there. Um, we'll we'll select the second joint. Uh, rotate it forward and then select the third joint and rotate it down and that's how the um, lamp was created if you want to see the effect of this uh, light bulb simply turn on all the uh, the lights and and again I can select that cylinder and I can see that the that the light is uh, affected um, it's being it does have an effect on the scene and so now you can't see anything else because we don't have any lights but if we add a quick light uh, let's say just a uh, an area light push it up here rotate it down crank up the intensity and we can see that this serves like almost like the um, the room light let's crank it up a little bit more maybe less uh, and you can see the effect of the lamp right there also and so hey guys uh, this is a quick rig parenting hierarchy rig uh, that you can use for any object just imagine that this is the hip this is the knee and this is the ankle or the shoulder elbow wrist and you can uh, parent anything all these uh, joints you can animate them for example this one is animated from 1 to 15 uh, this one is animated this one's animated you can create keyframes for any of the joints and uh, oh by the way this light bulb this sphere you can't see it because it's in the shade but if you select it create a uh, a new material Let's, uh, create a blend real quick uh, and I am going to just color it white. Uh, you can't see it because it's in shade again. And so all you have to do is on that blend, crank up the ambient, crank up the ambient. And so now you can see it. If you wanted to see the inside of this cone, uh, I would put uh, another light and make it a point light. and push it in there push it in there uh, and so make sure that it is lighting up the entire inside see that guys i'm just going to delete it uh, and there it is guys uh, we parented this lamp uh, parenting hitting the p or middle mouse dragging it to a hierarchy uh, again the base is this cylinder one which is the base and then the joints serve as the parents this plane is the floor and this area light is the room light but the hierarchy uh, is based on all this and then you can move you can move this base anywhere and move the lamp you can even rotate it uh, and move the lamp anywhere you can uh, make the lamp jump whatever 
Uh, it's up to you, but everything is done. This whole lamp has been rigged and now it's ready to animate. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.